Today's question is about leg length discrepancy. Specifically, the person was asking about leg length discrepancies in, in patients with scoliosis and how do we address those. But the question of leg length discrepancy comes up in a variety of circumstances, and it's something that a lot of people wonder about. So let's talk about that. The, my general feeling when it comes to leg length discrepancies, and I think most doctors would echo this, is that a lot of times the way that that comes up is somebody will develop back pain or hip pain or knee pain, and they'll come in and as part of the exam, you'll notice that there's a leg length discrepancy. And assuming that it's relatively mild, maybe a centimeter, or even two sometimes, you don't necessarily want to go addressing that because the thing about a leg length discrepancy is that it's probably been there for a long, long time. And as long as there's no reason to suspect that the leg length discrepancy is new, for example, in somebody who just had a hip replacement and now all of a sudden there's leg length discrepancy, that's a different situation. If it's more of a chronic problem and we're just noticing that there seems to be this discrepancy, if we go in and we start addressing that too aggressively with a heel lift or something else, some other kind of lift, the problem is that we're taking a biomechanical situation that you that the person has become accustomed to over the course of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 or longer years, and now we're changing it. And so now we're adding in this extra variable. And a lot of times when we go doing that, especially if we're doing it aggressively, then we start creating a lot more problems than we're solving. Now, sometimes if someone comes in and they have a, a new problem and you notice there's a real big leg length discrepancy, and we all have slightly different margins for that. I would say if it's an inch, if it's 2.54 centimeters or more, you, you, you might want to start correcting that a little at a time. You probably don't want to correct the whole thing right away, but you might want to correct half of that or a third of it and slowly start to see if that makes a difference for the person. If it starts to create more problems than it's solving, then you probably want to back off of that and recognize that that leg length discrepancy has been there for a long time. The person has been fine with it for a long time. And so there's no reason that you necessarily have to run in and go addressing that right away. It's a different situation if someone's had a recent trauma or a hip or a knee replacement where there is a new leg length discrepancy, then you are going to want to address that a lot more aggressively and a lot quicker.